Okay, we're going to take a quick look at race three at Caulfield uh, on Wednesday. Um, no doubting, uh, this is an 1800 meter 55k benchmark 70, likely to be run at a slow tempo on the front end, three year olds and upwards, fillies and mares. Um, the standout favourite here is See What I See. We're going to oppose See What I See. No doubt um, that the favourite by See The Stars is a likely type with good scope for more. Um, but there's two here at double figure odds that we feel could run big races and are worth nibbling at on an each way basis. And they are the seven big Kate, currently 12.0, 2.2, and also Pearl Blue to a lesser extent, uh, 34.0 and 4.4, um, in from 41. Um, if we take a quick look at this race, um, we'll just dive into the form around the two that we're interested in. Uh, the seven big Kate, well bred, lightly race improver. By toast and stardom out of a reduced choice man, modern etiquette. Um, now, if we just pull up the pedigree of this one quickly. Okay, so Big Kate, as I said, is by toast and stardom out of a reduced choice mare. If we get to the second damn Tango Fire, the Anabar mare, um, interestingly, she's also the dam of Tango's daughter, who is a full sister to. Um, the dam of this one, Modern Etiquette. Being a dual stakes winner, um, that puts good black type in the family. The, won the group to Queen of the South. Um, if we go and pull up the the debut win of Big Kate at Yarra Valley over 1,500 metres, circled wide when the pace went on, um, copped a little bit of trouble in the running, rounded them up pretty quick, ran away from them, put big margins second to third, third to fourth. Um, impressive that day. Um, I'm just going to pull up the win, that win, that debut win, and just show you the merit associated to this win. So we'll pick them up After here. So this is Big Kate on the outside here, the as one comes up around it, Grace, in the red and yellow the hoops, with the blinkers on. So this is Big Kate here. Trust Sylvester Allen Tont give her a middle. So two of the uh, well fancied runners, third last and second last respectively. Last is have a crack at time, 700 to go. So and it's, as they come up to the bend, the lead outright by two lengths over Bunker Down and Son of George, One comes up around it. Fourth place. She tries Henry to get out further out to start Kate make a run. George, she dips and then in a second. A middle, who's three loses her action slightly Allen there. Was there as well. Kicks back up, to have a crack at time as last as keeps coming, by. circles wider, so pushed out, lets down, picks them up quickly, puts them away. Strong in deep stretch. Good margin second, third, east close home. That was a good win. The form stacks up out of the maiden win to suggest there's plenty more to come yet. Um, blinkers off first time. He must pre-race only first time. Buys the first time. Goes from 57 down to 51 and a half after the claim. Um, out to 1,700 metres now after dropping back to 1,400 last time out at Pakenham um, for a 75k tag. Only beaten 1.25. Um, Likely to race closer to the front end here under a slow tempo than what it did when it settled midfield on debut and still rounded them up. Um, with the 51.5 kilos, scope for more out to 1,800 now. It's got a feeling we're going to hit another new peak for Big Kate and she's a big chance of overturning the odds on favourite. The other one in the race to a lesser degree um, is the French import by Le Havre in the form of Pearl Blue. Um, as I said, well bred by Le Havre out of the Silver Frost Mare Persuasion. If we go deeper back into the pedigree of this one. On a jumps, we'll, we'll be going towards the jumps, one would suspect, this preparation. But if we get back to the second and the Saddler's Wells Mare, Poughkeepsie. Now she's produced numerous other stakes performed horses being halves to this to the dam of this one. Um, earlier in its career, Pearl Blue was a 2,000 metre winner on the all-weather in France. 
um, in good style here back on the 16th of January 2022 since coming to Australia has acclimatized now won two in a row at Warrnambool and Ballarat over 2350 and 2600 everyone's going to be thinking okay stayer on the make but what's impressive also is the way it jumped out at Colac when second to Norwood's putting a huge margin back to riding high in third. Norwood's is an unraced Vadimos um, horse uh, with a good action. Pearl Blue better through the line when second in that jump out, suggesting it's forward enough here to be competitive. Um, and being a 2,000 metre winner on the synthetic, now that it's acclimatised, it's got a feeling that there's more to come for this La Havre five-year-old mare, um, who looks like it's going to be heading towards a jumps campaign this time in. Um, so once again, as I said, there's no doubting that the favourite in the race, See What I See, is smart. If I see the stars out of the smart strikes mare, real smart. But there's enough merit in the form profiles of the seven big Kate at 12.0 and 2.2. Um, as some major danger and also pearl blue to a lesser degree at 34.0 and 4.4 to be nibbling at both of them to potentially overturn the odds on elect. Uh, so that's a preview for Caulfield Race 3 on Wednesday. Thanks.